Hey there, future doctors. Today, I'm breaking down the fascinating journey of how sperm meets ovum, leading to conception. Let's dive right in. So, it all starts with ejaculation. During intercourse, millions of sperm are released into the vagina. Now, these little swimmers face quite the journey. They navigate through the cervix, into the uterus, and finally, into the fallopian tubes. Only a few hundred make it this far. In the fallopian tube, an ovum, also known as an egg, awaits. Ovulation occurs around the midpoint of the menstrual cycle, releasing this egg from the ovary. Once the sperm reach the egg, a race begins. The first sperm to penetrate the egg's outer layer wins. This process is called fertilization. Now, when a sperm successfully enters the ovum, their nuclei fuse. This forms a zygote, which begins to divide rapidly. Over the next several days, the zygote travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus, transforming through stages such as the marula and blastocyst. Around five to six days after fertilization, the blastocyst reaches the uterus. Here, it undergoes implantation, embedding itself into the uterine lining. This stage is crucial, as it establishes the foundation for the development of the embryo and placenta. Once implantation is successful, we call it conception. The embryo starts to develop, forming tissues and organs over the next few weeks. This early development is critical for the embryo's survival and growth. And there you have it, the incredible journey from sperm meeting ovum to conception. Remember, understanding these processes is vital for your future careers in medicine. Thanks for tuning in and keep studying hard. Catch you in the next video.